Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Harshita and today's video is about Ashoka. Uh, life of a student at Ashoka and everything about Ashoka. So I have my friend over here, Chahat, and I'm going to be asking her certain questions so that you all get to know what it is to live, in a, live and study in Ashoka. And so yeah, without further ado, let's dive right into the video. <laughs> Uh, so Chahat, which course are you doing? Uh, I'm currently doing an economics and finance major. It's a three-year course at Ashoka. And which year are you in right now? I'm in the third year. Third year. Okay. Why did you choose Ashoka, your application process, and do you know your batch strength? Right. So my batch strength is somewhere around 650. Uh, I chose Ashoka because of the faculty, campus life, the sports facilities here. And actually, it also gave me the sort of freedom to, you know, choose what I want to do. I came in as an economics major and computer science minor, and I switched to finance in the middle. And that flexibility is why I joined Ashoka. Uh, application process. Yeah. So the application process was pretty simple. Uh, it was um, some, we had to submit an essay earlier with, with the normal application questions. Uh, after that, we were shortlisted for an interview, post which we had to sit for the Ashoka aptitude test and uh, yeah and then i got my uh, call from ashoka but i think it differs with every year or they have some they've made some changes to it so right do you think it was very competitive the yeah. application process yeah. is it difficult to get in so i think they, they are sort of looking for a variety of quality uh, qualities in the candidate and that is why they are sort of selective but also if you're like pretty candid about your yourself and you know you're true to, to your application it should be fine okay perfect uh okay are you happy at ashoka yeah I'm very happy <laughs> <laughs> what is the one thing you hate about ashoka i don't think i like the food here because i'm also very picky about what i like i really like cheese a lot and i just think <laughs> that this place does not have enough cheese for me <laughs> okay perfect what is the one thing you love about ashoka uh, I really love the faculty and that we can access the sports facilities 24-7, the campus and the people, they are really sweet. Okay, how are your professors and uh, while teaching as well as, you know, office hours is something that you have and yeah. Uh, so I would say that the professors are pretty approachable. They are, they are people who come to us with their real life experiences. So that their teachings are pretty practical, at least for my major, it's very in touch with reality in that sense. Uh, they are always available for office hours. So some professors fly in on certain days and they will, you know, go out of their way to give you that time if you need it. So they are pretty helpful and very knowledgeable about their field. So the next question is, what does your timetable look like? How long are your classes for and how many classes do you have in a day? Right. So classes are usually one and a half hours long. Uh, but the timetable varies sort of for each student. Like on for for me uh, itself, like it's on some days I have four classes, three classes. On some days I just have one class. So it's pretty chill and like you know divided that way. There's no fixed timetable. Like obviously, it, yeah. like you'll have it in the beginning of the semester. But I would say that no two people would end up having this sort of same timetable here. It's like that. So you all don't have like a proper batch or a proper class like you know school mm -hmm. who have the same timetable. No, no, no. So no. we do have some like compulsory courses for each uh, major and we have some limited slots for that. So in that sense, people do end up getting into the same class, but it's not like school. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how is the pressure at Ashoka? Are the students really competitive? Huh. I, th I think there are all sorts of people here. There are some people who are competitive, but they're also sweet and you know, they won't, it won't be like an unhealthy competition, I would say. It's all like everyone's pretty helpful and all, all of that uh, everyone's like i think there are people who are really serious about what they want to do and they will achieve it but there are also people who are like pretty chilled out and it's like that okay uh how many hours do you study in a day while exams and uh, yeah. not while exams as well. uh so normally i think like when i have classes i just attend those so i would say like what five hours or something like class hours and then if one two hours post here and that if there's an assignment yeah. Um, during exams, I, I I actually don't know. It depends on the schedule. Yeah. If it's like very cramped up, then it does get hectic, and you know you end up studying for a lot more. But it's yeah, it's like very like non decisive no. types. Okay. How would you describe your campus life at Ashoka? Hmm. I would say balanced. 
in that sense like when we have to study we will study but yeah. also like when there's a lot of things going around we just take a break and we chill and like right now we have the sports fest going yeah. on so none of us are worrying about this assignment that assignment we're just like we have to go watch this go watch that so it's it's pretty balanced in that sense is campus life fun like it is it do you all do you all have restrictions and uh, anything that you know makes you feel uncomfortable on campus I would say nothing like which makes us feel uncomfortable. Ashoka, in that sense, is pretty flexible, and I would say lenient also with its rules. Like not that we don't have strict guidelines in place, but you know we have cross access from eight a.m. to like twelve thirty a.m. in the night. So you get a lot of time to socialize. Every it's it's pretty chill, and like if you want to just relax, take a seat back, and like you know just do what you like. Yeah. It's pretty chill like that. So. What do you guys do when you're not attending classes? I think it depends uh, what sort of uh, phase of the semester we're in. Okay. Like right now, it's just begun, so we'll be probably watching something, chilling, yeah. lying down on the mess lawns. It's a very, very favorite Ashokan thing to do. Uh, basking in the sun, all of that. Sports, a lot of people play. Otherwise, uh, people might just go to Delhi or something. It's like that. What is the social scene like on campus? Is it difficult to make friends? Are the people people here nice and friendly? So I think. Uh, It's it's very like chill in that sense. Like everyone's sweet, so you do end up sort of interacting with everyone. I think making friends depends like person to person yeah, yeah. also. Like finding your vibe and then sort of sticking with it. So in that sense, everyone is open and like when you first enter, everyone is like you know excited to talk to new to people. Meet new people. Yeah, to yeah. meet new people. So it's pretty like good in that sense and also. Like your course friends, even though you don't end up having like a lot of common courses, yeah. even if one two courses goes well, then you end up in a good friendship with them. So it's like that. Um, do you like the food and accommodation on your campus? So, so the thing is, food also a lot of people are fine with. It's just me. Like I'm very picky with what I eat. So in that sense, I don't like the food. Uh, but yeah, like it's ma- it's like good food. It's healthy, and if you want to eat, like I'm, I'm a very I like junk a lot, so that's why it's not the place for me. Uh, accommodation, I think it's really good. Like, uh, we have a twin sharing room system. Everyone and, has a twin sharing. Yeah, so we have resident uh, assistants, RAs, who are like students, but they are sort of you know monitors for each floor, so they have a single occupancy room. Uh, but other than that, everyone has a twin sharing room, and we have a common washroom. We have a pantry. Uh, then we have the like mess where we go yeah. for food, and so it's pretty uh, organized, and I really like it. So you said that you guys have common washrooms. So does it tend to get very dirty? And as you said that you all have classes in the morning. So is it like a rush? Is it not manageable? Or it's like you know having your own washroom, having your own space. Is it like that? So I think it also sort of depends from floor to floor, and like. I've been here for what three semesters. The first semester was pretty okay. Like people, it depends on the people on your floor as well. Yeah. And after all, I would say that it's all manageable in that sense. Like it's not something very disgusting that you know you would you would just like not use the washroom. Yeah. So in that sense, it is good. Uh, but it also sort of depends on the people yeah. that you are living with also. Um, and other than that, like about the rush thing, I feel that. It's like our classes are pretty divided, right? Okay. So it's never like you know you have to like they show in the movies that you have to like bang on the washroom stall, hello hello, we just jana type. It's not like that, but it's also like they are occupied, and you can just go to the another like you can just go to the floor below or yeah. above, and it's it's like not something very. How many washrooms are there, and how many showers? Uh, I think there are ten washrooms, oh, like ten washroom stalls and ten shower stalls. Yeah. Uh. So, does your college have an office for career services? Do they help you with internships and placements, or do you have to do everything on your own? No, no, we do have a, a career development office and a, a Shoka internship cell here. Uh, so they are really helpful. Like we have a platform where the internships and placements, uh, the job, they come on their own, and it's all like uh, regulated that way. So we have to apply online itself, and okay. it's um uh, the entire process is um. Uh, It's very set and like within rules. Uh, other than that, like they are pretty helpful. Like you know, we we are allowed to walk in there and they do hold like a lot of development sessions as well. Uh, in collaborations with uh, several like organizations. Uh, recently we had something 
for internships and placements also where they were sort of teaching us skills and we had to join and it was like pretty nice okay. if not ashoka then what i don't know i think i think some place like uh, nmi was yeah. only yeah so like uh, i'm from jindal so over there we have a you know we have a very strict uh, regulation about checking and entry to campus and all of that mm-hmm. and uh, we because of substance abuse and all of that we checked and all of that mm-hmm. and we have a lot of um, machines at the gate to check our bags and all of that is mm-hmm. there something like that in ashoka or something like that right so we don't have like a, a you know they don't check our bags or they don't check us but in that sense i think uh, we do have a uh, warden who are allowed to like come to our rooms uh, you know knock and enter uh when we make when they when they suspicious of something when they okay. smell something or they think that we're making a lot of noise and uh, while entering also like for visitors if you're asking it's like we can just sign them in and uh, yeah they're not allowed to go up our hostels but on campus everything else is accessible uh i think uh, everyone is sort of regulated in that sense like things are kept in check but you also have your freedom to do things. Okay, um, so like in Jindal, we have a lot of diversity in terms of the professors as well. So mm-hmm. they take, they make an attempt to have foreign faculty come to our college, have guest lectures and all of that, and they sign a lot of distinguished people so that we have an exposure. Mm-hmm. Does Ashoka also like go out of their way to help their students with all of this? Yes, definitely. I think across all majors, we do have a lot of foreign faculty and distinguished faculty as well. In fact, right now our entrepreneurship department is at its boom. we have a lot of people who are currently working in the industry and at the top coming and teaching us uh, akasha airlines just began and yeah. we had a uh, professor ditya ghosh with us last semester as he launched the airline then he still with us so in that sense and we have a few more names of like well very well renowned names as well in that sense uh, and other than that i would say that across all majors we have people who are doing ground breaking work in their fields and uh, in that sense the faculty is is definitely a plus point for sure i also like in uh, general we have like semester exchange or like summer schools mm-hmm. or like um, different degrees that people can you know take and i've heard that ashoka also offers a 3 plus 1 thing for economics honors mm-hmm. so like what's that say right so the fourth year uh, fourth year here is optional it's it's called the asp which is like an adv- advanced scholars program in uh, diploma of research or something of that sort yeah. i think i messed up the name but it's something <laughs> like that only uh, but what you can do is that you can sort of explore anything you want in that one year and uh, it sort of gives you that gateway to you know do things you couldn't in your 3 year undergraduate degree uh, in that sense um, about the semester abroad and summer abroad program so we have a very well established office for that as well and they take care of all this it's a very well regulated process and we do have a lot of people going and coming here in fact a few of my friends actually went abroad last semester and they tell me their stories and they said that the process was very smooth for them <laughs> okay so i think that's it if you guys have any questions do let me know in the comments i'll keep pinging her for the answers <laughs> and i had a great time making a video with this one and i hope she enjoyed as well and yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching thank you i had a great time bye bye Thank you.